His family dumped him there on the side of the street. So then he started going door to door, looking for a new home, looking for a rescue. And I just knew I had to take him in. One of the biggest signs that a dog has been dumped rather than just a stray is because he was staying in the same area. Dogs that are more strays, they tend to keep wandering, run around. He walked right up to us and he was just like, hi, thank you, I'm ready, I'm ready to be saved. <laughs> Seeing any dog in this condition is heartbreaking, but this one is really bad. To give you an idea, here's what a healthy Great Pyrenees looks like. Poor guy had pretty much everything that could be wrong with his skin. He was missing a ton of hair. He should be super fluffy. He was way underweight. You can see his ribs, really struggling all over. As soon as I brought him home, it was like, we need all the, the things that taste good. From starving on the streets to finally in a new home, Kodiak celebrates every meal with his own special sound. And he just immediately started howling, like the little, we call him a woo. Uh, Tell me more. Uh, uh, like he can't control how excited he is. And he's so smart. He so quickly learned a routine. So as soon as I would turn the water on, he would run up behind me and like start a wooing because he knew he was about to get fed. He does like little tippy tappies. So he like bounces his feet dancing a little bit. He was the sweetest boy. Kodiak continued to recover under Katie's care. I mean, it took a couple weeks. His skin is polka dotted, his fur is white. He lost the polka dots on his legs as fur started coming in. He still has a little bit of bare spots, but the spots that are there are so long now and fluffy. He should be this giant fluff ball and he slowly but surely his hair is getting long. As annoying as shedding can be, I'm very happy to see that he is shedding because he has so much hair to shed. <laughs> Kodiak has now officially been adopted and is living his best life with his new family. He's awesome. He's so much fun and he's so easy to love because he's so easygoing and he refuses to sleep anywhere except for the bed that we bought for our last foster who weighed 13 pounds. He legit will not sleep anywhere else. And I think you can tell that even from pictures. He looks so kind. That's exactly what he is. Like he's just a sweetheart. There's a lot of misconception about some of these animals that don't have the perfect smile or they might be missing an eye or a limb or they're missing fur. I wouldn't trade any of them for anything in the world. Kodiak's a perfect example of showing how not to judge a dog on the streets or what they look like. He was literally potty trained, cat friendly, dog friendly, kid friendly. He looked like a big, scary, sad, sick dog. And he was none of those things. Not sad, not scared, not sick. He was literally just like, hello, I am a house dog. And I don't know why I've been on the streets for a while, but I'm supposed to be a house dog. <laughs> My hope is that sharing stories like this will encourage others to adopt, foster, and volunteer. Subscribe if you agree. Turn on notifications for more awesome, heartwarming stories like this. And hit that like button if you want me to keep telling these amazing animal stories. Oh, and I put a link down in the description below for a video I think you'll really love.